It's often reported that Adolf Hitler, possibly one of history's most notorious vegetarians, was as clean living as it was possible to be. In 1930, one of his supporters reported that he doesn't drink, he practically only eats vegetables, and he doesn't touch women. This clean living image would become vitally important within Nazi Germany, and drug addicts would be labeled clinically insane and either sent to concentration camps or executed by the state. But was Hitler really a paragon of virtue when it came to what he put into his body? Well, no. According to author Norman Oler, who investigated in detail the papers of Hitler's private physician, towards the end of the war, the Fuhrer was being given cocaine, amphetamines, sedatives, and hormones. As the war took its toll, his natural energy and charisma began to decline, and he needed other ways to stay awake for days on end and to continue projecting the image of an unstoppable force of nature. It was at this point that his doctor began prescribing this increasingly potent cocktail of drugs. After he eventually fired the doctor, illness and tremors indicative of opioid withdrawal started to become very clearly noticeable in his public appearances. <laughs> 